about it. Uh, Judd has some news um, that you may want to pull over for. If you're listening in your car right now, maybe pull off to the side of the road. If you're listening at home, just grab a seat on the couch. We don't want anybody to to fall over and get hurt. It concerns. Or drive uh, off the road. Or drive off the road. Right. Just flat out go right exactly. into the ravine or something. Because I was uh, taken aback by these comments that Judd is about to read to you. All right. So if anybody, if I missed this from the combine, I apologize, but I, I don't recall see this seeing this. Combine. So on the back page of the uh, Star Tribune sports section yesterday, C14 to be exact, mm. our, our guy Ben Gessling did a uh, position by position breakdown of the Vikings with the salary of each player and also the big decision that each team or, or that each position group faces. All right. I'm going to read you from the last sentence, sort of lengthy of the wide receiver position, and then we can react. Though the Vikings would save $654,770 by cutting Laquan Treadwell, Coach Mike Zimmer said new assistant head coach Gary Kubiak has, quote, big plans for the former first-round pick. For Laquan Treadwell. New assistant head coach Gary Kubiak (laughs) has, according to the head coach, big plans in quotations, for the former first-round pick. Now, number one, did I miss those? And number two is, <laughs> is this just a complete smokescreen we're talking about here? I, I, I've i not seen this. I can't believe. I, I'm putting... Are they trying to build a trade market for well, him? And, I, and personally, that you know... That can't be it. I that can't that possibly can't be, be it. it. I think Kubiak's going to do a good job. I like what they're doing here. So I have, I've never objected to this hire. I think it's a good idea. I think he's a veteran offensive guy. I think it's everything that you probably want for a Mike Zimmer coach team, especially because Mike's strength is on the defensive side. But what the hell is this? Sir, no, I, I don't know, Judd. I'm asking for in- <laughs> I don't interpretation know. help. I don't know. If you're looking for me to explain what they're expecting from Laquan Treadwell or why they're expecting that from him, now, you're, you're looking to the I, wrong guy for answers. I'm not going to try and figure it out because I want to keep my you brain don't have healthy. The I want to keep my man. brain healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I had thought of that a long time ago. Um, <laughs> so here, okay, here's the problem. The Antonio Brown thing, I completely disagreed with Collar on. I don't think you can go out when, when you're this up against the cap and trying to create room. I don't think you can go out and get a three, uh, a third receiver who's really a one or a two. And and now you've got Diggs, who is very good. Thielen, who is very good. And Brown. All right. So I disagreed with that philosophy completely. But where I don't disagree with Matthew and where I think he's exactly right is you do have to go get Kirk Cousins more help. You've got to get him a he's going to throw the ball to guys on the field, right or wrong. And if that's Laquan Treadwell, that's wrong. That's a wrong choice. So you've got to remove that choice. It's like it, it, it's like it's like when you got a kid, which I don't, but let's say I did, and I've got poison in the house. I'm gonna put that poison up really high so Judd Jr. can't get to it because he doesn't know better than to go up there and start drinking the poison. I don't this, want him to die. This is like who wants to be a millionaire and you want to get rid of half of your options to know what the right options sure. were. You've got four options and you want to eliminate two of them. If if it's who wants to be a millionaire and Vikings wide receivers, if Laquan Treadwell <laughs> if is one the of the 50, four, 50? you just do the 50-50, and Laquan <laughs> Treadwell will be the only one that disappears, and you still have three other options left. And, and if, if you I, need to, phone a friend, and they're going to tell yes. you to cut Laquan Treadwell. If, yes. I, if I was to be invited to Vikings camp for a day and given all access, and Zim said to me, Judd, I don't really like you, but I'm going to allow you to do whatever you want. I would go around the locker room and put stickers, labels on guys. Laquan Treadwell would have Mr. Yuck on his jersey so that Kirk Cousins didn't throw the ball to him. So he needs to be removed as an option here. He doesn't, he can't be an option. Kirk Cousins will throw to him still. So to read this again from Ben Gessling Star Tribune yesterday, and it's just one sentence that Coach Mike Zimmer said, new assistant head coach Gary Kubiak has, quote, big plans for the for- former first round pick really leaves me at a loss for words. And I got to think that there's something going on here. I just don't know what it is. I mean, what else could be going on other than that's what they think? Because it can't be like Manny said that they're trying to create a trade market for this guy. That's not going to happen. I would like to, I would like to think you're completely wrong, Manny Hill, but I don't know. They can't really think he's an option. Can they? He doesn't work. Like he's a non-workable part. It, yeah. It's like he should be recalled. It looks that way to me. Uh, Gary Kubiak is a much smarter football mind than I am. I'll give him that. He should be recalled. Obviously, 
the the maker should put out a thing saying that all the Quan Treadwell models are being recalled. They don't work. Bring them back in <laughs> for a full <laughs> refund. Like this doesn't work. And I, and I know this is kind of this would kind of be a secondary thing, as you know, in in the minds of Mike Zimmer and and Gary Kubiak. But like, what are you what are you telling the fan base if you're gonna if like, you, know. you know like what the the fans have already kind of checked out on this guy like what what are you but what are you what 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 are you trying to sell but, but it's not even with him? but it's not but the reason why you need to like not do this and not provide this temptation at all is is the point about cousins will throw to him you know Favre Favre would have looked at him by now and just laughed and said I'm <laughs> I'd rather force the ball over the middle do a guy in triple coverage and, and that's uh, that's Am not going to throw the ball to the quad no yeah. no <laughs> but you can't give Kirk Will I this do it? Who knows? You can't give Kirk this temptation. Kirk is Kirk is a weak man when it comes to seeing eligible receivers on the field, and we'll throw them the ball. So anyway, Brett, are you going to throw? You're he to, does it just to be nice. Brett, are you going to throw to Laquan Treadwell? Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I could. No, <laughs> will I do it? I, uh, who knows? Well, I, I've learned to never say never. Oh. <laughs> You know, you know the moment Barb came up in the conversation. I was gonna drop that in. Oh, it's great. Thank you. It I never, appreciate it. Help myself. It never fails, Manny. It's always great. <laughs> you okay now? You get that off your chest? I just, I just feeling it, better. I just, I mean, on, you don't because he's Laquan you know Treadwell is still is? a Viking. But you, you feel any better? You know what this is? This is Christmas bleeping morning, and I come downstairs to all of these free agents. It's the legal tampering period, and I'm going through all my boxes. And the first one's Mark Judd. I'm like, this is gonna be so great. <laughs> And my grandma sent me a hand knitted sweater. She sent you a Laquan Treadwell jersey. Exactly. I'm like, <laughs> Nana, Nana, what the hell's going on here? Nana, why today? <laughs> so apparently, Laquan Treadwell, if you believe what they're saying, is going to be the Vikings' third receiver or somehow involved in the Vikings' wide receiver core and the Vikings.